Well, hello and welcome to a little bit of Christmas in May. Well, I got this custom order and I was asked to make a cute bunny ornament in Christmas theme. So I was thinking I am going to show you how I made this cute Christmas bunny ornament. So firstly, I used a plastic medallion and I painted it twice with white paint. Of course, let it dry between each layer. Oh, did I mention, hi, I'm Veronica and welcome to my channel all about decoupage. So then I use some decoupage glue and this custom rice paper and this image. Well, my customer chose this image of the bunny and I cut it up with my water pen because many of you know I don't like to cut up my images with scissors because it will give them a sharp edges, I would say. So after I cut up the image out of my rice paper, I have tear up the image in few places for better placement on the medallion. Then I took a little bit of decoupage glue and put it on the medallion itself. Then I placed my rice paper onto the medallion and seal it with more decoupage glue. Of course, you can use Mod Posh for this as well. Just make sure there is no excess of any glue because that will dry out white, not clear, and it might ruin your image. After it was dry, it was time to paint around my bunny. So I am just blending in some colors. And as you can see, I am going even inside the rice paper itself. And yeah, the bunny is only on one side of the ornament because we're going to decorate the other side in For this, I'm using acrylic paints and I am trying my best way to blend everything together. And the next step was adding some little dots on my Christmas bunny and for this I am using just a small amount of water and some paint. Next step was uh, my trusty decoupage glue, my glitter decoupage glue and of course this step is fully optional and you don't have to do it. After my decoupage glue was dry it was time to seal it so I am using my pouring glaze for this. Of course you can use varnish as well. I applied four to five layers and let it dry between each layer, of course. The next step was decorate to decorate the other side of my ornament. And for this, I am using some air drying clay, some flexible mold and some other molds as well. I am rolling out the clay directly inside my flexible mold and then I am gluing my design with some express glue from Pentart right onto the ornament. Of course every material I use will be listed in description box below if I cannot find the same exact thing because some of these molds I had for a long time, I will be trying to put something similar to it uh, there. So next step was to add some decorations to my ornament or medallion, whatever you are calling it. Of course, Everything was made from air drying clay 
and I am gluing it all with my express glue from all of the clay decorations i was thinking okay this needs something more so i am using some air drying clay which i am rolling out pretty thin and then i am using a stamp saying for this pressing it inside the clay making sure it is visible and taking off any excess of the clay around my saying making sure i don't ruin my saying of course and then i glued the saying with some express glue from pentart as you can see i had trouble to get the glue out because i am using it so often it was already almost finished then i let the whole thing dry of course and after my clay was dry it was time to paint it these are the paints i use of course you can use paints that will fit your design so firstly i paint my clay design in brown paint and i took off any excess of the paint with wet towel which gives my design a shabby chic look it all dry and after it is dry i just applied with cut up sponge cut up kitchen sponge and white paint a little bit of frosting onto my poinsettias and all around my ornament as well and of course i let the thing
close up all finish my christmas bunny ornament which was a custom order for one customer and she gave this bunny ornament to a friend i am hoping you enjoyed watching this video thank you so much for watching uh, if you did like it please do subscribe to my channel please do give me a thumbs up or a nice comment if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask until next time bye